It's called Sight and Release. Here it is stamped on reams of court documents we found. It works like this. When Dallas police find people with small amounts of marijuana, they aren't arrested. They're cited or issued a ticket ordering them to appear in court. And they're released. Sight and release. Since 2017, about 350 people have gotten tickets under the program. Come on up, sir. Many of them ended up in the courtroom of criminal court judge Nancy Mulder. But there are also typically young people, people between the ages of 17 and 22, who are just starting out in their lives. She began seeing a pattern. When you see people come into, walk into your courtroom and they're all people of color, you start to think, I think there's a problem. An analysis of all site and release cases shows large numbers of cases come from two Dallas police patrol sectors, Southwest and Southeast, which is also where some of the city's poorest residents live. And broken down by race, the numbers are even more startling. 54% of those cited are black, 38% Hispanic, 8% white. One thing I know for sure is that people of color are not smoking marijuana more than Caucasian people. And that brings us to the larger overall social justice issue of are we over policing certain neighborhoods. The site and release program was designed to cut down on the costs of prosecuting low level cases. It's also intended to keep people who pose no serious threat to society out of already overcrowded jails. But site and release brings up another societal question. Are police choosing to come into contact with people of color more than white people? If you are issued a site and release citation, it means you are not committing any other crime, only possession of less than four ounces of marijuana. The numbers, uh, they don't add up and it, it should be a greater number across the board for all races. Sheldon Smith is president of the National Black Police Association. He's also a longtime Dallas police officer. We keep these numbers and percentages to, to see who is being affected, especially in the site and release, release program. Uh, and these numbers tell us that African Americans are, are sought out or stopped more than any other race, uh, which means that they're being searched more than any other race. Um, and that's kind of troubling for me. Criminologist Stephen Bishop sees it differently. It certainly doesn't tell me that officers are biased. It actually tells me the opposite. He's also a Dallas police supervisor with over 30 years of experience working in South Dallas. Say 100 people, and of the 100 people that are cited and released, 90 are uh, from minority communities, then that tells me that that's 90 people that would could have gone to jail, did not. Uh, that tells me cite and release is working the way they wanted it to. Uh, I was driving, I was going, actually headed to my friend's house. We spoke to a young man who was cited and released back in 2019. I'm like, oh my God, freaking out. He asked us to conceal his identity. Victor was driving in Oak Cliff when an officer pulled him over. The car had a paper tag that didn't match the vehicle. The officer smelled marijuana and Victor admitted he'd smoked some. I was uh, not afraid, but I was just a little more, uh, you know, on the scared side. And he just, uh, he, he started to reiterate that I had stolen the vehicle. And I tried to explain it to him. I said, sir, my dad buys cars all the time. He fixes them and he sells them. He says, well, I don't believe you. I, I don't believe that you're telling the truth. Victor was 19 at the time. They searched through the whole car. They, they tore it apart. Police found a small amount, less than two ounces of marijuana in a jar in a backpack and he explained uh, the charges that I was getting and why I was getting them and how I was lucky to not have gone to jail that they had just started the site and release program. But site and release isn't the same as a traffic ticket. Victor has had to take time off his job waiting tables to go to court multiple times. He's also found out he could lose his driver's license over the charge. And for him, he feels racially profiled. Let's be honest, if they were to stop a white a white guy in a car like that, they're not gonna search him. They're not gonna do all of the extreme measures that they did with me. It's also troubling to Dallas County District Attorney John Crusoe. He spoke in October at a city council public safety meeting. And African Americans are stopped for offenses that other people in other communities are not stopped for, traffic offenses, uh, front license plates, turn signals. 
you know yourself, if you go up in the North Dallas sports cars, they don't have front license plates. You don't see them being pulled over. In Dallas, I'm Tanya Iser.